once you've done it once or twice and you're like, okay, well, I'm fairly comfortable that this process pans out the way it's supposed to pan out and I don't have to worry about it, it's a lot easier to deal with people coming in and saying, oh, you shouldn't have honey and oh, why aren't you doing cardio yet and oh, why haven't you cut your water and oh, what's going on with your sodium and blah, 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 blah. It's just like, it doesn't fucking matter. Hashtag boom. I just ran it a bit there. there. <laughs> <laughs> we are about to have a little posing workshop, hosting myself, obviously. And yeah, Coach Mush just had a, a mini rant about all the extra help that you might get when you are prepping. Maria's already getting ready to fight. Especially like, for the first time. There's a camera. This one's I posing must. already. She's ready. I must. <laughs> she's got her sass on. I'm gonna fucking This one's done posing before, <laughs> so she's answer. gonna be very helpful. I'm bringing the answer. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Maria, this is your hoodie. <laughs> so Muz is handing out hoodies. Check out the team, yo. Oh, that's sweet. Let's see the back of it. Amazing! Oh. Yeah, so I kind of got lost in translation as soon as I started coaching. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a voiceover just so you guys know what the hell is going on on screen. So here you've got Moz uh, coaching the physique boys and I'm coaching the bikini girls at the back. So here I was working with Dean and Dave who you'll see upcoming next on their mandatory poses. So there are four poses for men's physique, the side turn, the front pose, the back pose and another side pose and here what we're trying to work on is sort of symmetry we're trying to show off the smallest part of the waist and make the shoulders and the lats spread as wide as possible and that's why i was pushing his his elbow towards the front there just to make sure that his lat is spread as much as possible so here you've got dave and here most is showing dave how wide to spread his legs because sometimes people have their legs spread a bit too wide apart and it doesn't look so great You'll find that for most people, the answer how wide should you go is always going to be different. So some people are going to have slightly wider legs, some people slightly narrower, some people are going to have a slight bend in the knee, and some people are going to stand tall and straight. So whatever looks better for you, um, I highly recommend that you just try things out and see what looks best. Maybe ask, ask some friends if you've got uh, judges available, try to ask judges what they think and just do what looks the best for you really. For men's physique, I would argue that the front pose is going to be the most important one. That's what Muzi is showing the guys here. Um, why do I say that? Is because at the beginning, before the judges call you out, that's the pose that they're going to get to look at for the longest time. Obviously, when they call you out to the front and compare you, they'll get a chance to ask you to do all the other poses. But the first pose that they're going to see is going to be your front pose. So I highly suggest that you practice that one a hell of a lot i.e every day if you can if you've got a show coming up and make sure that that one is nice and solid and just in case if you happen to get a cramp in your leg or on your abs uh, that you're able to switch your leg around to your other side so everyone's gonna have a stronger and a weaker side uh, for most people that's gonna be the last quarter turn i.e when your shoulder is facing when your right shoulder is facing the judges most people that's gonna be their weaker side for the ladies, again, I would argue that the front pose is extremely important, but I have heard some judges say that the back pose is even more important, potentially because you get to show off the booty, obviously. So ladies, if you're preparing for a bikini competition, make sure that your back pose is on point and check out my back pose video if you're not sure how to do a lat spread. Okay, so now we can finally wrap things up. I think we've done enough posing, it's like an hour and a half. So now we're gonna grab a coffee and just chill out. This is amazing. This guy's munching on Nutramino, chunky peanut and caramel. I believe Jess had one of those too. It's amazing. She said it tasted good. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, how many how many um, boxes did you buy again? Three. <laughs> <laughs> So I've just made it home and yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. Everyone's gone home, we just had a chill out at the coffee shop. What did we end up? Costa. 
And yeah, that was pretty cool. So I just thought I'd show you guys what things look like. It's been a while since we've done a workshop. So today was actually really, really productive. Had a few bikini girls there, a couple of physique guys. We've actually got a couple of more physique guys that unfortunately couldn't make it today. Hopefully next time they'll be able to turn up. But yeah, there you go, a bit behind the scenes for you in terms of what we do here at Road Physiques. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed that, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure if there was much you could learn from it, unfortunately, because I'm not sure you could hear me because I was quite far from the camera. Maybe next time I'll hold the camera and maybe do some voiceover. Maybe I'll do a voiceover with this one. But yeah, in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video once again and see you next time. Peace out.